Hello and welcome. Uh, we're still stuck on the keyboard. So I'm here for Epic Fantasy Gaming. I'm Joe. Here with me is my co host Dan. Hello and greetings. Sorry for the out of order intro. This is just frustrating. Still not fun playing with the keyboard. Especially given my whiny nature. The sound. I have to crack that joke. Anyways. Um. Five. Okay. Lightning. Screw you two! Uh, nope. No. I'm gonna click that in. Or for control, like any kind of controller that works for a PC. But at least uh, our other host is sitting down, well, resting and snoring. He has certainly earned his snores. Yo, you! Sorry, I, I have to gush. I love him. Some people have lovers, some people have kids, I have a dog. Yeah, that about sums up my life right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have to try that too. Oh man. I kind of deserve a dog. Um, because the only person you have to blame for your life is yourself. I know that that's generally my quality one. Yeah. Like, I know there are some cases where that's not always the case, but like, for the most part, your life is in your own hands and whatnot. I'm thinking flick with a lightning ring on your sword. Okay. Then we're gonna see about getting a lightning room for Gen Gen's sword. No! Controls. Now, what I'm hoping to do is generally spam lightning swords on Luca. Luca is not resistant to Lightning. Wind and water are basically useless on weapons. But lightning is always good. Mm -hmm. Fire is as well, but the problem is, you guys have to bear in mind, Luca's pretty much the boss of the game. So, we have to plan for Luca Blight. So, yeah. And if anyone says, well, I like my fire form. Okay. No. That's respect. fair. Res deep respect. Fire swords are great. What? Yeah. But you have to bear in mind, you got to fight against Luke of Light later. And he, well, I think he's pretty resistant to fire. If no. he's not, then I'm sorry for getting my facts wrong. Some may say that uh, water swords uh, have uh, give you some small regen. But the HP that it gives you... It's it so it, it's probably like one or three or something. It's like ten, fifteen. That's not worth it. Exactly. Just heal. Uh, at least in uh, code N one, you could add more uh, water room pieces. Yeah. Although I will actually defend this game's policy of just I like just being able to buy the room and slap it on the weapon. I hate yeah. the room piece for this one. I hate that. Agreed. And I love the exertion room. We learned how good that is uh, a few playthroughs ago. Yeah, when uh, we were competing to build these underrated characters. And we basically didn't even read the storyline. We were just spamming the gameplay, which <laughs> is awesome. Which, uh, Hick was one of my choices. Jen Jen was mine. I love Jen Jen. Like I said, I want a game where he's main character. I want him with a Tarun. I love Jen Jen. I may be a tad obsessed with the character. But what's her? Oh, but she sneezed. Did I say that? I want to ruin it a little. 
Yeah. Did Hicks just act like a man? <laughs> I'm good. Okay, I'm starting to get carried away by the fetch quest. Yeah, because I actually like this play. I like, like, I know I was saying uh, this has to be one of the worst fantasy games out there, and I still stand by that position, but Hicks and Tengar are fun. So I'm going where? Uh, Two River? I think it's uh, Cave of the Wind? Yeah, because, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, where would it be? And the uh, she's going like, oh, where, where, where? Ah, choo! Oh, right, Cave of the Wind. Okay, so that's the dialogue. You can memorize the dialogue. This is that part. Yeah, yeah, I just, I wish there was, sp like, some special dialogue since I have portion of the party. I love Flick's interactions with the two. And now, Tangar basically makes him look bad. You know, like, he, well, he's still on his quest of me. Shut up from him. And you've got Hicks, like, I just want tips. You know, Tangar, what tips can he give? He's basically a dropout. That's essential what she's saying. But yeah. the funny thing is, Flick actually has great tips he can give. Technically, I'd say he could probably go back and complete the quest. He's probably completed it several times over just with the amount of wars he's getting and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But the problem is he doesn't want to ever go back to his hometown. Yeah, it's like the entire matter of uh, Odessa. Some might, some of them might say, okay, that was a wartime situation. They'd probably all understand and be like, dude, it's okay. On the other hand, that was his wife. Like, I, I think that there'd be a lot of compassion for his grief. Mm -hmm. Like the whole... Uh, Journey of manhood and womanhood and whatnot uh, in Warrior's Village, I do like. That's interesting lore. You got some business with Richmond here. Yeah. What is the clan girl? She's only 18? I think like 21 or 22. Bang. Royal Guard. Royal Guard from where? She's from the Grasslands. Okay, there's another detail. She looks like Asiatic. There's no Asiatic looking characters in the Grafton Stone Brood. So, there are natives and Asiatics. So, it's basically the. Uh, so, we should actually probably compare it somewhat more to the steppes. But the, you know, the step nomads? And to a mixture of that and uh, Native Americans. And Native yeah, Canadians. Here it is, I'm thinking. What the uh, tribe? If we look at uh, Code N2. Well, the problem is Code N2 and 3 are not consistent Code with each other. Three. They're not I mean, consistent with each other. Exactly. Because, first off, not Kai, not Lizard, not Duck. Not Shisha Clan, because she actually knows how to fight. Not Alma Kinnon, because she's not a... Um, well, because that clan... I think they... Like, she, Shisha... Because uh, Alma Kinnon, you're not allowed to leave. Exactly. That's the only plan I could think of that her appearance could match and the, the skill otherwise oh yeah that her I wasn't paying attention that her ability focuses on with both uh, sisters match however they're isolationist to the point where no one has ever people think they're a myth As, and as much as Hicks can be the perceptive one between him and Tengar, when it comes to Tengar in danger, he has a one-track mind. It wasn't here before. <laughs> He's not paying attention to us. Oh well. When you're that great a character, you don't need, uh... Well, I'm actually glad he doesn't actually have a main story, uh, role. Mm -hmm. Because the main story of Sukarno 2 is not a strong story. Hmm, yeah, fair. And one thing in Hicks' defense, he wants to help his lady out. And yeah, he, he's trying to save his girlfriend, which, I'll be honest, like... Back before I broke up with my... 
ex. Like if if I heard she was really sick like that, actually, she simply had a like a normal cold a few times, and I'd be out the door. I'd go fetch her like a Tim's, a coffee, and like, and I'd go do whatever shopping she wanted me to do because, well, you know, it's a girl. You gotta. And I'd be also doing the shoveling. Remember, I'd shovel. I'd uh, I'd even at one point all clean part of her room. It's like because you gotta do what you have to for your lady. And, you know, like, I'm just saying us men have that obligation to our ladies. Mm -hmm. Like, being a woman and, and, and having a boyfriend, like, they have different kind of, um, they have a different job to do for us. But we have certain obligations we have to carry out for them. Mm -hmm. It's a two-way street, and if you want your lady to do anything for you, you've got to be willing to do stuff for her. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, masculine and feminine energy that, uh... yeah. And I'm not the most macho guy, but, like, I figured, eh, I gotta go do everything I can. Or, like, exam time. I'd be the one getting her some of her groceries. I'd be fetching coffee. I, I'd, uh, yeah. then, like, the thing is, I even, I think, once ran errands for one of her friends, because I was like, well, you know what, fine. If it'll ease your mind, mm -hmm. uh, one of her girlfriends. And <laughs> it's like, I remember one friend who asked, like, how did it all go wrong? Well a little too much but at the same time yeah and like this, we were just not compatible this entire uh side quest is actually filled with anime tropes that i actually enjoy like they're a little funny yeah like you this is the sort of comedy i don't mind being in the game because it's a side quest i don't want it in the main quest i want it in the side quest i also <laughs> like walkaba oh frick that was hilarious here, the red flower. Oh, well, that was quick. Yeah, so where's the green bell? Uh, it's in the sewers beneath the roof. Alright. So let's see out of this out of her bed. Have you actually always said that? Like, those crap lines like that? Uh, there are times where I click too fast and I choose the, the panicky one. But I much prefer it when... You, uh, you kind of point out how, uh, heck. Yeah, because it's just not like me. I'm thinking I might go with the panicky option next. But. But, oh man, like. Oh, wait. I'm going to check the rooms. Wait. The Husky. Or join our group. I was actually clicking on the back there. Well, I'll have to ask Miss Yuri to take over. Yeah, fine. Warrior Spring Cup. And tab. Ooh! That's not what I mean. Yeah, because there, there was one that I put that on Victor, and his defense was still respectable. Maybe put it on comfort. I think I actually did that at one point. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try it on comfort. No! No, I'll kill you, Yuri. Yuri, the only one for me. Oh, I just know that song. Yeah. Link Street Boy. Yeah, I just remembered them. Yeah. But that was an expensive room. Yes, I know. So, like, maybe Miklet of our Humphrey, actually. Miklet of has pretty damn good defense. I also had a thought. Mm hmm? Hex. War yeah, yeah, I, would, I, I wouldn't put it on him. No, uh, yeah, yeah. I His would... defense is pretty garbage. Yeah, I could... Well, actually, it's average, I should say. Yeah, I was just thinking deal some savage damage between the warrior room and the uh, exertion room. Yeah, I agree. But so generally, I use that. Uh... Let's take a look at the see if Sid home. Okay. What I'm worried about is just... Is he gonna... Yeah. Drop? 
The Fury Room is better off on him. I wonder where you can get Fury Rooms. I forgot. Yeah, I will, uh, think we'll do a shop on the party. Wait. Nope. Choco. Whatever. We'll recruit them on our next trip through here. Yeah. We'll take them with us in the Tolga. So we get hungry or fuck something. You're kidding me, right? Just heard a bell. Uh, yeah. What the hell is, would a bell be doing in, in the sewers? No one might have thrown it there. Yeah, fair. You got me. But it's awfully convenient that they heard the bell uh, right when they were approaching. Could have rolled on the ground. I don't know, like, or those thrown up there by the river. I don't care. Like, you forget that this is the part where I don't really don't get a dog. Can't wait to finish the recruitment stuff. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm tired of the side quest. I just want to finish the main quest. I'm more invested in the side quest than the main quest. I know, same, but I really just want to get through the call and just recruit all our officers and then just finish a look of light. I just want to beat the game. Mm -hmm. So that you can have the joy of playing something like Let's Go Easy, which is also. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Once you end up playing uh, for the next video mm -hmm. or so, you're going to see why I keep screwing up the controls. Jeez, dude. Slow down and think. Hicks is not the brightest guy out there. Yeah. Yeah, I like the character, but... Yeah, all the all the items in here uh, are necklaces. Yeah. Oh. Ah! I'm gonna lose! Unless this works. Now, if this doesn't work, this was impossible to win again. Yep, impossible! There's only one way to survive. Yep, I had to bribe. I paused it, so you have to. Pause, please. 
freaking heat sliding. That was close. Next time when I run, run, Ryu. Run, you useless bum. I never would have encountered that problem if I was using a stole. Because I could have just used hell. A situation where bright shield is a worthless swing. Ah. It's useless once, uh, in these situations, once you run out of I think it was the, like the other way. Oh, the other way. Ran away. Do not want these fights. And if I try, he's gonna one hit kill every character instantly with my luck. Come on. There you are. Thank you. I wish those were powers in this game. Mm -hmm. Time to escape from the one guy. They're all dead. Oh no, they survived. Dang, I wouldn't be surprised. Come on. I hate having to play this game with. Keyboard. It's such a clumpy way to play it. Come on. I don't actually hate the bright shield one. In some ways, I actually prefer using it for the soul leader. Mm -hmm. It's just, in this situation, in this level, it'd be great to have deadly fingertips and health. Yeah. And why is this level so freaking long? Thank you! Only oh, took forever in a day. Tangar! Wow, you made it all the way. You're already a great warrior. Yeah, except for the time I basically lost. Um. What, the Cliff the Crusader again! Who founded the Warriors Village as a legend here. Hold on. Cliff? Journey through Denon and fought a unicorn in this area? Before he founded the village of the Warriors Village? Maybe that would also explain the uh, the obsession with the warrior and maiden uh, mentality and yeah, because Cliff probably saved the maiden from a unicorn. Usually, the, maiden, the unicorn comes to rest its head on a maiden's legs and whatnot. Super difficult. Cool. Cool. Ah, oh, it's a unicorn. We'll be eaten. Unicorns aren't man eaters anymore. Are you a maiden? What if I am? I will take you. Use your true room, Ryu. Yeah, the village sheep thing. It was a test, so. The unicorn isn't actually hostile. Yeah, he essentially serves the same role as in mythology, except he challenges them. Now he's challenging them to be the best version of themselves. Mm -hmm. Unicorns typically just lay their head on the laps of uh, their pure-hearted maiden, which that wouldn't happen with Tangar. I mean, she does have the uh, virgin aspect down pat. I wonder though. Her and Hicks have been together for three years now. 
But I, no, but, I don't think there is a version of that to those two. Okay. But I tend to look at purity with them in that unicorn more as purity, purity of love. Mm -hmm. It's a bit more romantic, I guess, but you honestly think Tengar wouldn't have made a move on Hix yet? She, I know she's all, I want Hix to make the first move, but then she'd eventually just get so annoyed she'd be like, fine, I'm making the first move. Yeah, because Hix can be clueless as hell. But even Hix, I think, would have made a move. True. Oh. Who? What happened? Luckily, we don't have to go. So, where do, what do we do here? I forgot. He tracked down the sheep. One. Where's the left one? Behind the big tree. Oh yes, and there's gold, there's a there's a treasure chest. Oh that. Okay. That's it. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. Let's see what you. And she has the decency to bring you out. Yeah, like she's wait. Wait, I don't see the problem. I just find that. Uh, a bit of a nuisance. That uh, trip a bit of a nuisance. But then again, we just went on a trip around the world just to get a blue stone, a red flower, and a green bow. So what are you whining about? I don't know. I'm just whining. It's my turn to whine. Oh, I want to whine some more. You want to complain? Complain about these shoes. I bought them an hour ago. They're already used. Isn't that monkey piping? The argument clinic? I love that skit. But the best skit they ever did was truly Monkey Python and Custom Holy Grail. Mm hmm. Now we don't have to worry about that. Missing recruitment. Oh. You could even go get Walkabout. Oh, right, Walkabout. I believe that's over in the tin that Tinto town. Uh, the forest village all the way in the corner? Yeah. Into the left. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go get Walkabout right now. This is a recruitment video. Yeah. We might as well get it over with. We'll get Sid on our next trip through uh, this town, since we've already activated him. Hypocide Quest. Okay? Yeah. Wait, yeah. gone. Who? Uh, Jen Jen's brother? Oh, Kabocha. Kabocha. Yep, got him. Oh, good. Yep. You must have missed it. Yeah, you were playing on your phone. Ah, the Doku. Yeah, you were actually playing a decent game. With a better story. I'm teasing guys at this point. Because, like I said, I can be hyperbolic. I'll admit. But at least the next story is going to be the freaking Nicole Knight story. I love Nicole Knight. All 30 seconds of it. Shut up! I love the Matilda Knights. Same here. So we're going to enjoy it, stretch it out, and we're going to have fun. Jeez. We just got... We just suffered for Green Hill. Yes, Matilda Knights will be done in 15 seconds. But, like, come on, man. Like, look on the bright side. We're at Matilda Knights! Then we have Toron, which is also kind of fun. Is this the right city? Yeah. Which one's the bus? Oh, right. Yeah, we could also go to the mayor's vab. What about me? Wow, amazing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, where did we get Fury Ring? Uh, just remember, you can't stop rubbing the, the dog's leg, because, or belly, belly. because, well, uh, you know, he's in command here. 
You know what I always wonder? Why don't Walkabout and Yuri have a rematch? Attack. Mares. Down. Farmer dude? Yeah. Um, soprano? I guess what I get. Yeah. What? Well, can't get him? Because it's a rare find at Mew's room shop. Whoops! It's a treasure and we're annoying. And then you've got a chance of getting it uh, with uh, the Guardian Deity. Then again, the Guardian mm -hmm. Deity. There's a lot of combination items that you get from it. Yeah. So, yeah, we missed our chance. It happens. So, guys, make sure that before you leave Muse, you actually get that room, unlike what we did. We screwed up. Don't, don't do what we did. Now, much as I bash this game, do I still think it's worth playing? Yes, but you can't take the story too seriously because it, the story is just bad. Now, by the time this video comes out, we should be well into our uh, Silmarillion book club. And boy, comparing this story to the Silmarillion, you can't compare it. Because, like... What the... Heck. Most JRPGs don't measure up to a single story in the summer road. Mm -hmm. It is that good. It is tied in first place. It's my favorite novel of all time. You know how high a pedestal I put last new on. Yeah. And I can actually say Selma Road is just as good, if not possibly a little better. And I pray we never get a movie about the Selma Road or any of the there. Because they would never do him justice. I can't think of a single studio or place on the planet where they'd be able to, you know what I mean? Like, do it justice. And this is not me picking on, say, Hollywood or something. It's just, I don't think... Like, I don't. I didn't even like the Peter Jackson movies. So I don't think, you know, like, Hollywood has what it takes. Even if, let's say, you took Hollywood in its prime. And there was a time Hollywood made some pretty good movies. But, I don't know. Like... Especially, like, for fantasy. They're, they did make some great fantasy movies. But the problem is, they're not what they once were. And even at that time, I don't know if they could do this on the road. Unless you count George Lucas. He might have been able to. But he's George freaking Lucas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... But we only really have to sit through oh, check. Okay. Yeah. You, you hand that to Yuzu and uh, you'll get extra ingredients for uh, cooking. You haven't throw away a medicine for that? I mean, you could buy- You're it. fired! <laughs> We'll actually end this video with a chat with you. Okay. The only good thing is at this point, I was tired earlier, and now I have a bit more energy. Wow. Which normally... I was a lot more energetic earlier, but now... I suck the energy out of you. Ugh, <laughs> uh, whatever. Don't worry, you'll probably get a bit more energy once you start playing the game. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Come on, you're gonna get to play the Matilda arc. If you're not excited, I will hit you. You must be excited, Dan. Wait. wait. Richmond here. Rena and Ailey are sisters, but they're as different as dogs and cats. Rena is boys and sophisticated, a real adult. You never know, they were only a year apart. Oh, okay, I didn't know. No, actually, that's interesting. Yeah, she's one of my favorite characters in this game. She's funny. Yeah, she's a bit of a slutty character, but I wish they had actually given her a bit of a redemption arc from that. And... Oh, shoot. It made her one of the more important characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you could have given her a love story with some other character. Yeah. Excellent work, Lord Ryu, and this is the way you are welcome to the Long Castle. I'd like to be alone right now. I want time to eat and drink. Glory to Teresa. Did you save? Why don't you get out? He had a hard time. Okay, whatever. I don't want to think anymore. I think the way I actually was being able to assist you, but I'm not dying. I'm not dying. Oh, yeah. He's a little girl with a crush. Sadly, Ryu succeeded in his mission of recruiting Teresa. Actually, if she had died, that would have enraged Greenhill. Probably against uh, Highland. And depending on how she dies, they may not have to get mad at the new soldiers. Or if, like, I think it would have been a better coup too. So you managed to take Greenhill's response. No, he didn't! Luca, you are a failure. But Joey gets plot protection. You should be demanding Joey's head. Joey failed to take the city. The city's now basically involved in gang violence. Yes, he made sure Green Hill can't really intervene in the war. But you guys didn't get any character either. You failed to cross the border into the Green Hill area and, and push your borders all the way up to True River and cut uh, Dunan, the Dunan army off from reaching Matilda. You've a actually, that countryside is Dunan character now. Indeed. They didn't take the city, but they took the countryside. So, this is a loss for Highland. It's not a victory for Dunan, but it's not a loss either. They're still pressing on the Muse Green Hill border and on the Matilda border. I'm sorry, Jack. You can come back. Why down. Oh, he wants the bed. Okay. Good for you. You're so cute. I want your sister, Princess Julia, as my wife. Oh, Klaus just moved. Like, wait, what? Klaus has not seen that. You little punk. The ball. So that. Would you like me to remove your head from your shoulder to this fight? Go ahead. Do that. Please. We implore you. Yeah, plot protection. Yeah, Joey's the one who's uh, the devil on the shoulder with Luca. He's basically saying, give me your sister, I'm going to rape her, and in return, I'll give, I'll help you kill your dad and take the beast room for yourself. Yeah, Joey's uh, such a nice guy. Um, he's the victim here between him and Luca. No, I'm not saying Luca's a victim. Lord, no. But, like, oh, who's more evil, Luca or Joey? The sad thing is, there's no contact. It's Joey. Indeed. It seems everyone's here. No, shoot! But, eh, whatever. Everyone's here. There's Victor. Let's not here yet. Why does Victor insist on Flip being there? Is it so that they're not out man in that room? So that just in case things go foul, you can pull the sword out and start flipping back, huh? Is that it? Possibly. I'm not thinking right now. Busy pursuing that little brat, Nina. Don't make me sick. It's she who's pursuing me. Don't like the Janet and watched it. Took me all morning to find it. <laughs> it's like, yo, my boy. 
<laughs> the paper that just is. Normally it would almost come to this go blow. It's a good paper that. It's not even moving again. Of the five cities in one night down in the state, South Window has been destroyed. No, it hasn't! She's been drinking again. He's not entirely ready for the meeting. Okay. South Window has been, uh... Actually, it's on your side. It's not been destroyed. Muse, Muse has been destroyed. Okay, she's been his back. Or maybe it's a typo. Muse is destroyed, and South Window and Green Hill are under. And, yeah, it has to be a typo. Like, it's well, not that... Been... Well, from translation. Yeah, that's it. So, Green Hill's not actually under enemy control. The city kind of... Somehow we've managed to protect two of But Tinto is still close to us. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I'm not even going to discuss Tinto. Fair. No one cares about Tinto. I've been Tinto. Our army is as strong as Muse, and if we ally with them, we'll be able to attack them for two friends. Yeah, huh? You still control the border. Yeah. To, to control the, like, small group. Like, it matters. But, but the main reason we're not bringing a large group is to not uh, jolt Highland into action into thinking you're up to spec. Exactly. I'm going to bring her just so that I can equip. See, he left over there. Yeah, there's gonna be more than that. Then just you two, you know. But I'm thinking of equipping her with a lightning. Hmm. But we need to stop by South Window for that. Taco. Right. Sadly. We need Luke. Mm hmm. And I want Victor in the party. Agreed. Yup. Hmm. Just flip. Yeah. But we only need for that function. Flips. Okay, we're gonna have to remove chocolate. Maybe flips not. Well, Minami, that's right. She forces herself into the party. Unless we put her in the convoy. Convoy. Yes. Because then we have to remove two other characters. I'm gonna bring flip. Are you, are you okay with that? Sure. He's a rock solid character. Um, there's no way you're being put in the front line. They did. Yeah. Chocolate's medium range. Alright. So picture's going on ahead. Alright, we're just gonna get through this. Going north this time. It's too dangerous. Oh, I screwed up. I fight. We have to. I screwed up. We go we live with it. I'm starting to hate her more. Okay, this one. Gameplay wise, she is pretty good. She has balance. Well, yeah, but balance is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna lose Chaka in the party, I think. Yeah. But who do we replace for Fotch? Chaka. And Humphrey? Might have to, uh, if we can put one of either Humphrey or or uh, Fudge in the combo, probably Fudge. Fudge doesn't have much to uh, contribute. Physically, he's not terribly strong. Physically, he's got nothing. Yeah. So this might work out. Because at least if if uh. If we had a choice of putting her in the convoy, 
Yeah. Then, then uh, removing someone like Gas, uh, like our Victor, could possibly work. Mm -hmm. He's got lightning wounds. Let's check this out. Um, don't have enough gold, but okay, let's thank you all. Alright, that's not good. Yeah, let's thank you all the money. Um, okay. Let's let's sell some stuff. Yeah, I screwed up. Game for what? Don't do what I did. Um. Rain dog did this. Hmm. Come here, Ryan. Okay, we're not gonna get. Character that we were going to take, I could use. I get it, I screwed up. No, no, I'm not pinning it on you. Yeah, I know, it's a slut. The Nami's the biggest slut in the game. But what kind of woman actually tries to, like, sell her brother's life for a good lady? I'm sorry, but what kind of woman does that? Well, we've got ants like that, but, like, what kind of woman does that? Yeah. Alright. Um, okay. We've got a fray to get. And the reason I want to set up a lightning room on here is so that I don't end up setting up a fire room. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can just sell the fire room if we're not going to use it. True. But it's too late now, we left South and I'm not going to back. There's no point. Why bother? Mm -hmm. We could probably get a lightning room elsewhere. You know what I wish? You could just gamble with it. That's in the first one. Yeah, not okay. Look at and not uh the gambling in here. I'll try it. Off camera. Yeah. Um where is that guy? And yeah, he wasn't gonna lock the check. Oh. Yeah, you know what, guys? Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So stay tuned, um, and we'll have more great videos for you guys.